In this video, we're looking at how to create and apply character and paragraph styles and knowing when to use which. We're using Adobe InDesign and I have switched my workspace to the typography workspace so I have all the available panels that I need to be able to work with my character and paragraph styles. I have two examples here. One is an excerpt from a story and one is a listing for real estate. In this instance, I've already created some styles as well as here, and we're gonna take a look at when do we use character styles or paragraph styles? How do we know what's applied? In this case, I also have turned on show hidden characters to make sure I can see where all of my paragraph markers are. It's important to note where paragraphs begin and end as that will help you to determine whether you need a character style or a paragraph style. Paragraph styles apply to entire paragraphs, where character styles apply as an override on top of paragraph styles and only applies to the text that was selected and it was applied to and will not style the entire paragraph. Taking a look here, I have created a paragraph style for my body copy text here for this story. If I select any of the text, I can open my paragraph styles panel and I see that the story text paragraph style is applied. Next, I want to style all of my quotes where people are speaking a little bit differently so that it stands out and I can skim through and kind of see what the dialogue is very quickly and easily. So every time someone is speaking within quotes, I want to apply a style. Taking a look at this first paragraph here with a quote, I can see that I have a quote and then I continue with text and then I have another quote and then I have an end paragraph marker. If I want to style this text differently than this text and this text is already applied as a paragraph style, I know that I will need to create a character style. If more than one style is applied within a single paragraph, you'll need to use character styles. To create my style, first I'm going to select my text and apply a change. I'm going to say that this is bold italic. Right now this is the only change that I have made, so it still uses the same font and size. It's just now bold and italics to help it stand out from the other text. With my text selected, I'm going to go to my character styles and I'm going to Alt or Option click on the new character style button. If I just click this button, it will create a new style but will not launch the dialog box. I hold down the Alt Option key when I click on this button so that it will automatically launch the dialog box for the new character style, prompting me to give it a name. Do give unique and meaningful names to your styles so that when you're applying them, you can keep track of which ones you are applying, where they're supposed to be applied, or which ones you're using because you have recognizable and meaningful names. In this case, I'm going to call it bold italic quote. If I go to my basic character formats, I can see that the only attribute that is being picked up into the style is that the font style is bold italic. It did not pull into this character style the font family, size, or any other attributes about the text. This is because the font style is the only thing that is different in this text from the paragraph style that is also applied to this paragraph. This is important to note because if you want to make sure that a character style you are using will use certain features like the font or the size or what have you, you may have to style that yourself here in the dialog box. I just hit enter or you can click OK to save this. Now that I have a character style, I do have, when you're creating a style like this, it does not automatically apply, so you may still need to apply it. Uh, so I'm going to apply the style, the character style, by clicking on the style I just created, bold italic quote. Next, I'm going to go through the rest of my document or my story here, select, click, apply select the text I want to apply it to, click to apply the style. 
This is how I can apply consistently a style to these quotes without having to override the character, or the, excuse me, the paragraph style that's being used. This is an example of a good place to use character styles. I have two different styles applied throughout a single paragraph. I know that this is a single paragraph because it is the text that is included between the two paragraph markers. Looking at our next example, I've already formatted some text to look like I want it to for creating a real estate listing. I have a title, I have a description, and in some places, I want to apply this all caps red style to make a prominent feature of the sale of this home stand out. If I select my text here, I can see that I have a real estate title applied as my paragraph style. I have real estate description created as my paragraph style. And here, if I go to my character styles, I did create a style for this, but it was not applied to this text. So I can select this text and apply the style. And now it's applied if I make any future changes to this style. So to repeat this in my second option, and many times when you're working with text like this, you're gonna have many, many duplicates of similar information or information that is formatted multiple times in a consistent pattern. So something like this with real estate, you might have a whole page that would have six, 10, 12 listings that you need to apply consistent hierarchy and styling to. This makes using styles much more efficient for styling your text, and particularly when you have to go back in and make any changes. What's nice about paragraph styles is that since they apply to the entire paragraph, you don't have to select all of the text in the paragraph. If you click and select any of the text in the paragraph, and then click to apply your paragraph style, it will automatically apply to all text in the paragraph, not just the text that is selected. Again, I'm gonna click anywhere in the paragraph that I want to apply the style, and here I'm gonna choose my real estate description. Now both my titles and descriptions match each other in formatting and styling without me having to manually go through all the various menus to set these features. My title is one paragraph, my description is one paragraph. Therefore, I can use a paragraph style for each of these. Since I do have text within a single paragraph that I would like to apply changes to, I need to use my character style. So here we're gonna choose that the finished basement is the prominent feature that we want to apply our character style of all caps and red to. So switching back to my character styles, I'm gonna click to apply the real estate bold red caps. Now I have two examples of listings that are formatted to use consistent text stylings that are easily applied through multiple pieces of text by correctly using character and paragraph styles in InDesign.